course, it's bad. You're having another heart attack, Mother. The fact is, you're having your last heart attack. Oh, no, call. Call the nurse, please. Call. You're not going to be calling anyone. All you're going to do is die. Right here in this room. That way, I know you won't be around to screw up my plan of getting Luis. Oh, Lord. Evil. You are so evil. Luis. Oh, I think that this could be the last time that I'll ever feel your arms around me. There it is. How did this happen? How did things go so wrong for us, for our love? I don't know. What about Antonio? If the experimental drug doesn't work, he's, he's going to be an invalid forever. And then we can't tell him the truth. And I lose the one thing that I love the most in the world. Sharon, I can't live without you. Please. I love you so much. It's so hard to see him like this. He was so full of life, so strong. Excuse me, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. I just need to check on Antonio. I'll only be a moment. Nurse? Has there been any change in his condition at all? I'm afraid not. We just have to wait. There's no timetable for when the drug will take effect. Or if it will. All we can do is pray that the drug works, Mama. Hey, you'll need your privacy. No, think. Don't go. Stay. Antonio needs every prayer he can get. I, um, heard you talking to Pilar before. About what? About my mother. And I gotta tell you, if you think Ethan's all of a sudden gonna realize that, that my mother's not a saint, and that she's trying to break up Sam and Grace, you're crazy. Sooner or later, Ethan will learn the truth, Fox. It'll happen. And then Ethan and I will be together again. And you're the original hopeless romantic, Teresa. Mm -hmm. Mark my words, Fox. Your mother will make a mistake. Something will happen, and all of her secrets will be revealed. And when that happens, Ethan will be mine. I told you, Kane, you were better trying to break up Sam and Grace. It's all over now. No. Daddy, thank you for believing me. Thank you for believing in me. I knew I could count on you. You are my daughter, and I love you. Uh, Sam, you can't be serious. Surely you don't believe this. It's the truth, Ivy, every word, and you know it. Okay, I'm not calling you a liar, uh, but... Yeah, you are. No, I just think you're confused. <laughs> no. No way. Ivy, I heard you. You and David in the park. What's going on? Oh, Dr. Russell, thank you so much for getting here so fast. Oh, you sounded so upset on the phone. Jessica called you? At the hospital. She's worried about Kay. She wanted me to examine her. Jessica! No, you did the right thing, sweetie. I'm fine! No, you're not. You went out in this blizzard and almost froze to death. You've hit your head. And most importantly, you're pregnant. You have to at least think of the baby. Yeah, but Mom, I'm trying to tell you something very important Okay, you know here. what? And we will take care of that as soon as Eve gives you a clean bill of health. No, we'll take care of that right now. <sighs> Dr. Russell, Ivy and David are trying to tear apart my parents' marriage. What? That's, that's right. It's true. These two have been plotting together to tear apart my parents' marriage and... and you guys should believe me. I mean, my dad believes me, but everybody here should. Because they are just trying to manipulate our lives.
I told you, people were keeping secrets, didn't I? He's going to cause so much pain. And all I have to do is stand back and watch. Oh, it's just too delicious. Heather, everything I've told you is the gospel truth. It is not. And you have to stop making these unsubstantiated accusations. Unsubst... I was there! I heard them, Mother. I, I'm an eyewitness. Okay, then why didn't you tell us sooner? You claim that you heard this months ago. Well, like I said, I was mad at you. But I'm trying to help you and Daddy now. No, there has to be something more than that. I mean, why wouldn't you tell us this for so long? Because I knew that you would treat me like this if I told you sooner, Mom. I knew you'd question me even though I am telling the truth. Those two are trying to tear apart your marriage. I thought you always said you loved Daddy. And the marriage is sacred. Yes, Kay, it is. Well, then you better start believing me, Mom, because if you don't and you allow Ivy and David to carry out their sick plan, your marriage to my dad is toast. Come on. We should go home. Mm, no, not yet. I want to wait till Sheridan gets back. Gwen, you're pregnant. You need your rest. I know, but I, I want to be here in case she needs me. You, you're, you're a wonderful woman. You're always putting everyone else's needs ahead of your own. Hmm, I don't know about that. I do. I will get you some juice. Keep your strength up. Okay. I am not only staying for Sheridan, Ethan. I am staying to keep Teresa away from you. What were you saying? That my mother is a very clever woman. She's not one to make mistakes. Well, she is human, isn't she? I... Don't answer that. <laughs> Whatever she is, she is capable of making a slip. And when she does, Ethan will be mine. Well, that's an awful lot to pin your hopes on, Teresa. She'll make a mistake, Fox. A fatal one. You know, her obsession with Sam will cause her to lose sight of details, and that will be her downfall. The more I listen to you talk, the more I see how you and my mother are alike. Okay, we are similar in, in one respect. I will do anything to get Ethan, and she will stop at nothing to get Sam. Teresa, Miguel and I are praying for your brother. Come join us, Mia. Oh, uh, of course, Mama. I'll talk to you later, Fox. Blessed Savior, my son has led a good, honorable life. Please don't take him from us. I beseech you. Lord, his family needs him. Please don't take him. We love Antonio. And we can't lose him after he's just only come back into our lives. Please, God. Look after my brother. I love him so much. And please grant Luis and Sheridan the strength to deal with whatever the outcome of Antonio's illness is. Whatever this experimental drug does or doesn't do to him. I'm always... How could this be over? I mean, how am I gonna... How am I gonna live without you? I know. I thought we were gonna be together forever. We had so many hopes and dreams. Do you remember the, the dreams that we had? Everyone. Second is perfect. I just want to kiss you. I 
the love of my life. My soulmate. God, you're the same to me. God forgive us. Just one last kiss. Just one last kiss. David and I have been trying to destroy our marriage. It's the truth. Now, I believe Kay. Now, why can't you? You know what? I, I need a second to think about all of this. Grace, I know it's not a good time, but I need to ask you something. Yeah, what is it? Oh, when Jessica called me at the hospital, she said you were all at Tabitha's because that's where you found Kay, but... What I don't understand is, is, what is Ivy doing here? <sighs> Teresa threw her out of the mansion. No one would take her in. She had no place to go. So she's staying with us. You invited Ivy no. to stay in your house? Sam invited her. Well, Sam, how did he even know? He was at the house when Teresa threw her out, so he invited her to stay with us. And you agreed? No, I didn't know. He didn't ask me. Oh, Grace. <sighs> You know, this whole night has been like a horror story. I mean, first Kay runs out into this blizzard and almost dies. And now Sam has brought Ivy home. And Kay's telling me that David and Ivy are trying to destroy my marriage. But you don't believe her. Well, Kay's lied to me before. I just can't figure out why she would lie to me about this. So I just can't believe it's true. I mean, I know that Ivy would do anything to get Sam back for, for David to be involved. I mean, he, he's been nothing but honest and kind. I mean, you don't think it can be true, do you? Those DNA tests have got to be altered. Everyone has to believe that John is Grace's son. I won't do it, Ivy. I'm not going to do anything to hurt Sam and Grace. Well, how noble of you, Eve. Unfortunately, you have no choice. You can't force me. Oh, need I remind you of what I can do to you if you refuse? I will tell T.C. all about your sordid affair with Julian. About the baby you had with Julian. The baby that died. Most likely because of your drug use. But you are so hateful. Your image, your name will be dragged through the mud. I, I don't know what to say, Grace, but, uh, but I'm here for you. You know that. John, are you okay? I'm angry. I know Kay is... What? You didn't have a premonition about Kay's story, did you, Charity? No. I don't believe my father would be involved in something as despicable as this. He'd never lie to me, you know, tell me Grace was my mother when he knew it wasn't true. No, Dad wouldn't do that. I'm not having a premonition, really. I'm just sensing pain. Pain for a lot of the people that I love. You ain't seen nothing yet, Blondie. Oh, Dr. Russell. Look, I hope I didn't interrupt anything really important at the hospital. We were just so worried about Kay. No, honey, you were right to call. We do have a critical situation at the hospital, though. Antonio Lopez Fitzgerald has slipped into a coma. Oh, no. His only hope is an experimental drug that we've given him. Oh, I hope he's going to be all right. Is his family with him? Yeah, Luis and Pilar and Miguel, Teresa, Hank, they're all with them at the hospital. And of course, Sheridan. Excuse me, I'm going to get some tea. Okay. So, maybe you should call Miguel, you know, see if he's okay. Uh, but Kay's here. So? I mean, yes, okay, she's pregnant with Miguel's baby. 
But I don't see anything wrong with you just calling him to see if he's okay. You're right. There's not a problem in doing that. All right, there's a phone in the kitchen. You may be my sister, Kay. And I do care about you, but uh, I'm not going to let you come between Charity and Miguel. They belong together. Excuse me, Miguel. There's a call for you at the desk. Thanks. Hello? Miguel, it, it's me. Charity. Um, I heard about Antonio. I just called to tell you that I was really sorry. Thanks. You know, it's not like we don't have any hope. Uh, he was given an experimental drug, and we're just praying that it works. I'll pray, too. I need you, Charity. Miguel, it's not my place to be with you. Kay's carrying your child. You your future's with her. I only have one love in my life, you. And have that taken away. Miguel, please don't make this harder than it already is. I'm sorry, Charity, okay? I just can't stand to be away from you. It's like there's nothing but pain around me now. You know, Sheridan and Louise are torn apart. Teresa's not with the man she loves, Ethan. And you and I, you know, we should be together. Our love means everything to me. Miguel, I didn't call to talk about us. I just called you to tell you that I was praying for Antonio. Don't go. Okay, I love you, and I know that you love me. There has to be a way that we can work this out. There has to be a way. Now, do you believe your daughter's telling the truth? I'm sorry, Kay, but you don't have a history of telling the truth. And you certainly don't have a history of being nice to me. What does that have to do with this? Because Kay knows how much it would hurt me to find out that John's not my son. Yeah, well, sometimes the truth does that, Mom. It hurts. You see why well, I can't help but being suspicious of your motives, Kay? You always seem to have your own agenda. Look, Mom, here's the bottom line. John is not, and I repeat, not your son. So deal with it, okay? Deal with losing someone you love the same way I had to deal with losing Miguel. You're the only woman I love, Jerry. We can work this out. It's too late for that, Miguel. No! It's not, okay? I, I don't believe that. All right, I don't know what happened with Kay, but it, it must have been evil that made me make love to her. It couldn't have been anything else. Because I don't have those kind of feelings for her. And you know that. There's no point in us going over this again, Miguel. What's done is done. I just called to tell you I'll be praying for Antonio. Don't hang up, Charity, please. Goodbye, Miguel. What happened to us, Miguel? It's hard seeing Antonio like this, isn't it? Are you all right? Is there any news? What's wrong with our family, Teresa? Why can't we find love? You know, what's wrong? Why can't, why can't we be happy? The leaf is just a buzz away. You, you, you. never gonna bother me again, Mother. Your death is setting me free. Well, how are we doing in here? <laughs> well, it looks like your mother's resting comfortably, Beth. Yes. Hopefully, she'll be resting for a very long time.
So it doesn't matter if it's the truth. If it comes from me, it's got to be a lie, okay, right? Okay, that is not true. And stop being so dramatic. Please stop being so dense and just take a look around you. Okay, okay, all right. Both of you just cool down. She needs to wise up. Enough. Grace? Got some tea. Why are you looking at me like that, Sam? You can't tell me you believe Kay. I mean, please, surely not. I saw the look in Kay's eyes. She's telling what she believes is the truth. And when I look in your eyes, I see guilt. If what Kay says is the truth, I swear to God, I will never have anything to do with you again. And you! I can't wait to take you apart. Looks like you're about to lose everything, Ivy. Sam believes his daughter. I saw the way he was with you just now. He's gonna hate you forever. And I'm sorry for you, David. I know you're going to lose the respect of your son. But at least you won't have to deal with Ivy anymore. She won't be able to control us or manipulate us. <sighs> Go ahead and gloat. For now. We'll just see who wins in the end. What about Ethan? What do you think Ethan's going to do when he finds out what you've done? What you really are? If I know Ethan, he'll never speak to you again. Ethan? No, I can't lose Ethan. You have to believe, Miguel. You have to have faith. We are all going to be happy. At least in Sheridan, Antonio. You and Charity, me and Ethan. True love will win out in the end. I wish I could believe the way you believe. You and Charity will make it through this. But you have to believe it in your heart. I'll try. I'll go check on Mama. Okay. Hey, don't you think you're going a little, uh, overboard with this whole true love winning out thing? No. Everybody who should be together, they will be together. It's fate. Don't you ever have any doubts when it comes to true love? Oh, I'll admit that, um, there are times when I become frightened about the future. Yeah, sometimes I get really frightened. Your mother has no pulse. What? She's not hooked up to the monitors. What happened? I don't know. Code blue! I hope we can save your mother. So do I. How long has she been unhooked from the monitor? I don't know, Doctor. I just came on duty. Hmm? It's too late. Mother's bit the big one. She'll never stand in my way of getting Louise again. Clear. See Beth. Mm. See how our mother's doing, you know? Right. 
I should go and check on my husband. Sheridan so long. Mm, here she is. Oh, and you're still hey. here. Of course, I didn't want to leave without seeing how you were doing. Um, all right. I really appreciate you coming. But you need to get home, get some rest, take care of yourself, your baby. How about you? How are you doing? I'm as okay as I can be. But you go home and be with that wonderful husband of yours. Okay. I'll call you tomorrow. All right. Mm. Good night. Good night. Try to get some sleep yourself, okay? I will. Thank you. Good night. Good night. How is he? He's the same. But with God's help, he'll recover. You did the right thing, Sheridan. Giving him the drug, you gave him a chance to live. Thank you for that, Sheridan. Just want to do what's right for Antonio. Maybe we should let Sheridan have some time alone with him. Yeah. We'll be outside if there's any change. I'll let you know. We'll be at home, okay? So if anything changes, I'll call you. Thanks, Thanks for coming, Ethan. No problem. Thanks, Mark. Teresa, I, uh, I know you're probably going to want to be here with your family, so don't, don't worry about work tomorrow. I'll take care of everything and cover all your meetings. Oh, I'll be at work in the morning as usual. Um, we're meeting with that NPS corporation, and we need to go over the details together. Okay, fine. I'll see you at the office. Okay. Night, everyone. Night. Thanks Night. again. You know Teresa is never going to stop chasing after you. You do know that, right? Doesn't matter. You're my wife. What's the matter? Antonio isn't... No. Okay. He's the same. Just difficult talking to Miguel, you know? Yeah. What's going on with Kay? It's still a mess. She keeps telling everyone she isn't lying. But I can't believe my father would do something that horrible. I'll never believe it. Never. The idea of Ivy getting her comeuppance is so satisfying. After everything that she did to me. And you, using blackmail to get us to do her bidding. Of course, it's going to get worse for you. Once Ivy's exposed as a manipulative bitch she is, your life's going to be turned upside down. You know, you're very intelligent woman, Eve. And I think you're missing the whole picture. I don't know what you mean. Are you in denial? <laughs> I don't have any idea what you're talking about. You were involved in Ivy's plot, too. You lied about the DNA results. I'm not forgetting about that. 
<laughs> yeah, well, neither will Ivy. You know her. You think she's gonna go down alone? Now, when she starts to feel everything unraveling, Sam slipping away, you honestly think she's gonna go gently into the night? She's gonna blab about everything. She's gonna tell everyone you lied. No. No, she's not gonna do that, David. Then why not? Because she isn't gonna have a chance. Because Sam is gonna kick her out of the door before she can say anything. It's a nice idea, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Look, I'm the first to admit I'm on thin ice, but you're standing right next to me. And when that ice cracks, we are going under. Kay is telling the truth. Just look at her, all right? Look into her eyes. Okay, yes, you two have, have had a lot of problems lately, and maybe you've grown apart, but she's still your flesh and blood. And there's still a mother-daughter connection there. I know there is. And if you look, really look into her eyes, you'll see she's telling the truth. All right. This is it. Nothing but pain for everyone. Pain and more pain. So much pain. And this is only the beginning. It's going to get even nastier. Everyone in this room is going to have their lives turned upside down. Oh, I wish I had some popcorn. Grace doesn't believe Kate, and that's it. It'll all be over. We'll be safe. You are so wrong, Eve. Look at Sam. He's a cop, and he believes his daughter. Which means he won't let go no matter what. And if Grace doesn't believe Kate, he'll just keep digging. Pulling the pieces together until he certainly knows the absolute truth. But I hope you're wrong. You know I'm not. No, Sam won't stop until he knows that Ivy's guilty. That she engineered this whole thing. Blackmail me into pretending to be Grace's husband. Blackmail you into lying about the DNA results. It's all gonna come out. There's nothing we can do to stop it. I'm gonna lose everything I love. And so are you. Remember when Kay was little? You two were so close, you used to finish each other's sentences. I, she's your firstborn girl. That's such a strong connection. And a bond that is still there, I know it is. Now you can see that Kay is telling the truth, can't you? Oh my God. You are telling the truth, you are. No! That is me. I think you should go home. Little Ethan should be with his mommy. You're right, Mama. I, I better go. Will you call me if anything changes? Of course. Teresa. Thank you, Fox. <laughs> Ethan, wait, wait. Uh, I decided to go home, so I'll just walk out with you. You are amazing, Teresa. I have a couple ideas about tomorrow's meeting, so I thought we could just, you know, talk about it on the way home. Clear. Clear. Oh, God, I know you can die, Mother. Oh, Reese. What's going on? My mother. Another heart attack. It's so awful. 
Please don't leave me, okay? I need you to help me get through this. Promise you'll always be here for me. I'm not going to leave you, Antonio. I'm going to be here no matter what the drug does to you. God forgive us. Just one last kiss. Just one last kiss. Yeah. I'm putting your needs, your happiness, ahead of mine. Should. I'll be with you forever. <laughs>